The VINCAP study is a study looking at locally advanced and metastatic patients with penis cancer. The treatment landscape to date has been using other chemotherapy agents, so cisplatin in combination either with a fluoropyrimidine such as 5-FU or capecitabine, or with other agents including older generation vincar alkaloids. The majority of those studies, certainly um, until 10 years ago, there were a very small number of studies and those were predominantly retrospective. Since then there have been a few prospective studies. One of the important studies was actually in locally advanced disease um, with uh, locally advanced lymph node disease in the neoadjuvant setting and that's Lance Pagliaro's study of TIP chemotherapy, so using a taxane to in a cisplatin based combination and that was a prospective study that did meet its primary endpoint for response but the toxicity was higher than we've seen in the vinflunine study and that was one of our motivations for looking for a, a different treatment that would have lower to uh, toxicity for those patients. Another really important recent study that's reported has been Andrea Necki's study of dacamitinib in, in locally advanced and metastatic penile cancer. Dacamitinib is an EGFR inhibitor, it's targeted therapy, so that's completely different from all of the other studies. That study also met its primary endpoint with an objective response rate of 28% in that population. And so that's a different approach that's important for those patients. Other than that, um, Another thing that I think is worth um, mentioning is that there is now for the first time a very large scale study that has just started in high risk, in patients with high risk localised disease, so high risk node positive disease, and that's called the IMPACT study, which is looking at various, uh, addressing various questions, looking at the role of radiotherapy versus extended lymph nodes dissection and neoadjuvant radiotherapy versus neoadjuvant chemotherapy um, in some of these very high risk patient groups. So I think the unmet need is predominantly that there have been very few prospective studies and very few positive prospective studies in the disease at all in any stage of disease. What we are beginning to see in the last couple of years is that by collaborative efforts the community can start to ask and address and answer some of those questions and I think that's a really big step forward.